I remain today proud of Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? That's my take. Is it about that one they normally use a broom? Yeah. Okay. 
on the story of some liberal itself. Time. Um, today we will talk about the Western world and all that and all that. So for me, I have no regrets. I have no regrets. I remember one of my classmates in secondary school was the Clinton is a personal doctor. And we know nothing, we know nothing. I remember when we were doing exchange of lectures. Exchange of lectures from British, from Britain to uh, you back here. They received from Nigeria, they sent to overseas. So if we don't have best here, would they have done or introduced that? So I tell you sincerely, <laughs> and perhaps for those people that go in India or some other places or Germany and all that, you discover that they say the consultant is coming. And lo and behold, the consultant will come, that will come is a Taiwo or a Mega or Mugosi or Mosu or Ahmed or Usman and they are Nigerians. So for me, it is a time where we should peace our selves and to the glory of God we have not disappointed ourselves so I still believe in it and I am looking forward to see that moment come to us and God will help us. To me what binds us as Nigerians is that sense of kinship that that love, that um, community thing, that that sense of okay, I should be my brother's keeper. I see that a lot in Nigeria. I go outside Nigeria and I don't see that. I see everybody face your business, mind your business, your business. But in Nigeria, there's that sense of kinship. There's that sense of oh, this person is not my blood, but then. I still have to stand up for this person. I can take it from a personal example. I lost my husband like three years ago. A week ago, three years ago. And there was this friend of mine I had never, I had not seen in maybe like seven years. I had not spoken to in probably three years. And she heard, I don't know how she heard till today. She heard and in, within an hour, she was right by my side. She left, she has two children, left her children, you know, with the teacher that, okay, you're going to be the one to pick my children. And for two weeks straight, she was by my side. You know, her husband was working, you know, outside Lagos, so it was just her children of the house. But she made alternative for somebody I had not seen. You know, that stuck with me. For somebody I had not seen in over seven years, I had not spoken to. But for two weeks straight, you know, that's just one of them, you know, you know, there were so many people, there were so many, and imagine I was outside Nigeria, you know, I would have been, okay, oh, hello, sorry, but I have to get back to work, my, my shift is here, but people, like, even people that I would not say were close friends, they practically dropped everything, so that sense of kinship, that sense of my brother's keeper. You know, like when we're saying Japa, and I'm like, oh, I would never Japa. I would be here. That sense of family. That sense of, oh, we might we might have uh, different lives, different paths, different this, different that. But at the end of the day, we all still come together to, you know, be my brother's keeper. There's that sense, there's that sense of love deep within us, you know, there might be um, circumstances that make people go cuckoo in the head, that make people go really vicious and, you know, like, pretend like they don't care, but Nigerians do actually care. So what I would say binds us together is that spirit within us, it's innate, we were born with it. Yes. You know, I saw it a lot, you know, in my own time of need, and I was like, oh my goodness, even colleagues at work that I did not expect, you know, you know, you have people giving up not just material things, you know, their time, time, their their time. time. Their, and I looked at this friend of mine, her name is Ronke, I looked at her and I'm like, Ronke, what about your children? She like, don't worry, I've called the teacher, the teacher will take me and I'm going to my dad, she will get to my house 7 a.m. every day, she won't leave until like 10 p.m. Go and pick her sleeping children, you know. And I'm like, oh, can't you go? Even after the two weeks, she was apologizing because she had to go to UK for a course. 
and she was begging me to like, I can't change it, I can't change my skin. I was like, okay, go. You know, and that this is somebody like I keep saying it, somebody had not seen in over seven years. And I'm like, okay, you're dropping everything. And there were, you know, so many people. So Nigeria is Nigeria is blessed with with people. Nigeria is blessed with that spirit of that spirit of I can do it, we can do it. You know, when people say, oh, women bringing down women. Nah, I think that's superficial. I think Nigerians are really deep down core good people, great people, great nation. We believe so much in family, we believe yes, so much yes, in friendship, yes. we believe so much in lifting others. We, you know, we're, we're people of sensibilities, we are, we are sensitive to people's plights. You know, they feel bad eggs, you know, but then. You know, I love Nigeria. Like I'm so passionate about Nigeria, and I think that spirit is that spirit of kinship and everything is one thing that really brings us together. Well, for me, I think what buying Nigeria as a game, as she has said, is kinship. Apart from kinship, another thing that actually binds us together is our culture. Our culture really binds us. Whenever the Yubas are actually having some festival like the Osho Oshogo festival, not only the Yoruba actually do come for that festival, some Igbo, Aousa, in fact, some White foreigners. Men. Yes, White because this men. last one they did because high school in Oshogo Fountain University. So it's something I can actually walk down from high school to that place maximum. Probably five minutes from my school to the Oshogo film, yeah. which is the which is the proof. So, like different people are there to celebrate the festival, not because it is a Yoruba festival, but it is something people have actually believed in. The togetherness is there that okay, yes, I want to know what is in these people's culture. Let me have an idea of what these people are doing. Let me see the way I'm going to relate with this person because of the interpersonal relationship or the intrapersonal relationship that they will have outside that, okay, I think I need to know about this person. Let me move closer. So we always want to know what is going on with one another, not because of hypocrisy, but yeah. to actually assist ourselves, to lift each other up. That's what I actually think is really my closing actually love each other in love. There are some people that they might have not heard from you for some years. There was a friend of mine that it was on our graduation day I saw her last. Last week Friday I just saw a Miss Girl. Why is this girl calling me? Because even when we were in school we were not so close. We just only hello hi we just vibe and forget about it. The way I saw her call I was surprised because I was sleeping. Okay, I called her. Unfortunately, when I was trying to call, her call came. I picked the bush. I was like, ah, I'm in a lot of bush. I was like, I'm fine. She was like, is everything okay? She said, yes. I was like, what no problem? I was like, she was like, what that she was just wanted to be with her. Thank God, this Friday. Can you come and come? I showed you. And I'm like, wow. I don't expect this. Like, who am I? Like, wow. It's really. Interesting and very nice to actually have Nigeria as a nation and being a citizen of this country is really good. Really, really, really. So you're not checking out? No, no, no. She was checking out. She was checking out. She was checking out. For me, what binds us um, as a nation, what binds us together as Nigerians, I would say um, our heritage. And um, this heritage is being preserved by our culture. Culture is a way of life. As Nigerians, we have the way we do things, we have the way we live. And um, this has been passed down to us from our father's fathers that there are certain things that we just can change. They remain as they have been. 
even with its modernization, we still, we still um, maintain what it should be. Um, I would say our language, for instance. So um, I think everyone on this table has, irrespective of the fact that you have um, a Western name, you have your traditional name. So that's that's something that binds us together. So wherever you are in the world, we you hear a Kyrie, you know this, this that name rings the bell. Yeah. You know that this person yeah. is yeah. from yeah. home. You get. Um, I would use an example. So we traveled. I traveled with a friend for a course, and um, we we're walking. We we're just walking down the road, and we we're talking. We we're speaking English, but when we we're talking, we walk past two men, and we we're like Nigerians. Say so nobody else can speak English the way you guys speak. They just they had to, we had to exchange contact. We had to like oh let's meet later for drinks and all that because there are just certain things that are peculiar to us as Nigerians. Even if you can't speak your local dialect, for example, but like I said, when we hear the name, you know that oh this person is my brother from home. And even sometimes you are just walking on your own, maybe you're on a call and you are speaking to someone your local dialect. Maybe you are somewhere around the world and somebody hears you speaking you'll be like, ah, that's my brother. So, these few things find us together. Even maybe you're in an e for instance, and someone walks in, see you in Sinamala, they know that this person is from home. <laughs> okay. So, this is something, so our culture, our heritage that has been passed down to us, binds us together as Nigerians. So, wherever I go, even when I jack up, <laughs> and I get your mom, I will know that I will know that I will from home, and I will recognize you there. The fact that I'm not in the country doesn't mean I'm not in Nigeria. I love Nigeria. But... That jack is still. Yeah. <laughs>